the cell in this configuration. I took it apart after a few weeks running it. It gave me measured 350 milliliters of gas. Even with this little amount, my truck got about two to two and a half miles more per gallon. What I have here is all the plates, so the spoons. As you see, the plus is in the center, and it's the minuses so connected over this rod in the center. Can you see that? And I just want to dip it into the same electrolyte I took out of the electrolyzer and I want to show you the quick quickly the configuration it has all the same distance you see the cooling channels cut in on the bottom and you see also the cooling holes here and the spoon which is full of sud I don't know where this came from baking soda was in it and this is full of sud so the minuses the full of sud and the plus is colored with this brown I know what it is it doesn't come off the sud easy comes off so uh, some kind of carbon I don't know where it came from I know baking soda is natrium or sodium bicarbonate so there's some carbon in it so I just want to dip it in to see you, to let you see how it comes out uh, without being in a container that's producing 350 milliliters. So that's the same electrolyte I'm, uh, I'm putting it in. See? I don't know what's going on. Okay, what does it do? That's very sorry, I don't know why. But let me see. It takes maybe a little bit. But one reason I try to get all the different electrolytes going because I didn't get much output. I think there's with alkaline electrolyte a certain point you can reach and then that's it. You can add anything to it, what which I did, what I but I knew it didn't do anything besides a third more and used so much electric current that I introduced heat that I didn't want to do it. So all these plates are parallel. 